Isn't that Nahida? Nahida! Paimon didn't think we'd run into you here! Oh, hey there. It's been a while, hasn't it? What have you two been up to? <laughs> Seems like you've been enjoying yourselves. How about you? What are you up to now? I'm just looking out for some weeds while getting some fresh air. I noticed that I have some blurry memories after saving Soul. I almost feel like there's still something extremely important I need to do. But I can't remember what it is. Hmm? Why is that? Don't worry, we'll help you remember! Thank you so much. Since you're willing to help, I have something I'd like to show you. Ooh, it's beautiful. It looks like it's filled with some kind of power. Mm-hmm. I found it in the Sanctuary of Suristana, but I have no recollection of it whatsoever. It's filled with pure elemental power that is quite similar to mine, but yet it's also a little different. It's very likely that it's connected to my foggy memory, but I can't figure out what it is. Traveler, do you have any idea? You know, Nahida, we just happen to be going on an adventure right now. We'll be sure to let you know right away! a lot on your mind it shouldn't be around here <laughs> sorry to lord kusano last warning get out before i kick you out you hear hang on i think it's trying to tell us something but great Dendro Archon, it's a monster. Please. I think I understand. Seems that it wants us to follow it. You can understand it? Mm-hmm. Even though different creatures have varying habits and ways of communicating, the emotions we experience are all the same. I can feel its anxiety and fear. It's in dire are kind of cute! Hmm, that's true. Let's go take a look! Alright, lead the way, little fungus. Although they have the same, some fungus only. While others are not and attack anyone! It can't be helped. Perhaps in their eyes, they're like fierce monsters as well. Human behavior is hostile or not. They want to use their weapons. Hence why they tend to strike for rather than waiting. That's not too different from how humans think sometimes. That's what I meant by shared emotions. <laughs> It appears to be just like this. Like they might be family. So maybe this fungus might be here to help its family member. Probably. Although fungi are simple creatures, they're very sensitive. Maybe it noticed me on my way back and thought I'd be able to help. I'll take a look. I should be able to help if it's just a common illness. Hmm? Strange. This fun developed from a spore. It's an elemental life form. Uh, elemental life form? Yes. All the fungi you normally see are capable of using elemental they're merely borrowing elemental power to around them. As this thing, it has elemental flowing through it. Definitely not anything like your typical fungus. It's 
any pit. So this is the first even Nahita. That's so large. Then it's elemental power. Avoiding the elemental power from flowing normally, which must be why it fainted. So do you think it'll wake up if we can fill the void? And I this will happen to be good at this. I'll see what I can do right away. <sighs> My power was stable. Looks like everything is fine now. Lord of Tendro? Is it really the Lord of Tendro? Oh, I can't believe the Lord of Tendro saved me. As well as the stranger and creature next to you. It can talk? Oh, I didn't expect such a strange creature to make a sound like that. Seems I'm just as shocked as you are. What? Of course Paimon can talk. Uh, Paimon isn't a strange creature. Paimon's just... Paimon! Hello, Paimon. I thought you would have intelligence from its appearance. I will only know you are able to speak once you have spoken. Oh, uh, well, no need to take it seriously. It's no big deal. But does Paimon really look so dumb that people might think Paimon doesn't know how to talk? You don't understand, Paimon. A man for eating, breathing, and other functions that are more important than speaking. Even if it has a mouth. I've never seen a creature like you. Interiors, just like fungi and slimes. Study at the academia? It seems... You're not a fungus, are you? That's correct. This might be surprising to you. Question. Let's find some to speak too much using this strange voice. Me, 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 me. Me. It says that it's very... All the creatures into that. Even if there are ones I've never seen with my own eyes, I thought I possessed all the relevant knowledge of them. Even if the traits of all elemental life forms, you don't seem to know them. What are you? And where are you from? I come from an ancient race. We have existed for a Possibly longer than any records in existence. My home was filled with flowing water and great mountains. Lush grass covered the land, and my family and I lived in bliss and happiness. The apocalypse and changed my home forever. A horrifying power consumed all there was. The seeds of catastrophe nested and grew. Twisted. We were victims of the apocalypse, yet in time, we also became the apocalypse itself. The apocalypse? I'm not sure what it means either. It sounds like some kind of old fable. It's a long and complicated story. It will take me some time to explain it clearly. Oh, please continue. And managed to survive. Afterward, I left with some of my family and came to Meru to serve me to rescue my homeland. We came in contact with many species, their cultures, and knowledge, hoping to understand the truth of the apocalypse. We later found out that humans know the power of the apocalypse, and refer to it as forbidden knowledge. Your home was destroyed by forbidden knowledge. Does that mean you're from 
the desert? It's said that they are looking for a way to save their home and the catastrophe What if Dendro is back? Not from the desert. I would very much like to tell you the location of my homeland, but unfortunately, I've forgotten. That may very important to both me and my Yes, how could you forget? I am a life form that was contaminated by the apocalypse. A part of my knowledge and memory was taken away as the contamination inside of me was purged. I get it now. So the void of elemental power was left behind from when the forbidden knowledge was purged. I'm sorry. I hadn't considered that kind of ability. That's okay. Lord of Dendro, there is no need to apologize. Without your help, I would have lost more than just my knowledge and memory. And not only did you save me, but you've also already rid the world of the remaining forbidden knowledge, right? That's... The forbidden knowledge is more... My home... should be safe now. We can go home. For the longest time, this moment has only seemed like a dream. I never knew it would be reality so quickly. I was unable to found a way to save my homeland, and I have feeling where it is. It's not your fault. You've already done everything you can. Every species paid a great against forbidden knowledge. This is not a responsibility you should carry on your own. You mentioned that there were other survivors besides yourself. They. Maybe they'll remember. The apocalypse put us through immense pain. Many of my family members have already met their end. I'm not sure. Don't worry. will be able to find There are a few nice kids that should be willing to help. Oh, yeah! They'll give us a hand! Give me a moment. I'll contact them right now. That should do it. It may take some time to find them, so let's wait for a bit. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. We all will keep your promises. The moment I saw you when I awoke, I knew you were here because of the agreement. Hmm? Agreement? You might not remember, but this is a prophecy I deeply believe in. That the Lord of Catastrophe comes to an end. Ah, <sighs> I see. I... I'm sorry. There are also some blurry segments in my memory as well. But I'm very concerned about your homeland. This is something I should help with. It's really no trouble. Would you all be welcome come with me somewhere as we wait? Family members that can return home with me, the better. But didn't you say that you don't know where they are? Yes, but I know their end. I will explain it to you along the way. There is something that I'm very concerned about. Yes. I didn't mention it just now. When they told you that the power in the crystal is very similar to mine, yet also different, the elemental power inside the crystal is completely identical to that of the fungus. What? Exactly. The entity that it mentioned was probably an agreement that I made with an elemental for that once represented its race. I had to forbidden knowledge to save their homeland. This, however, took away memories. That sequence of events would explain the persistent feeling that I had unfinished business. Makes sense. Too bad it's unable to tell us more. Yeah, I've been trying to 
think of a place that fits the description of its homeland, but I'm unable to come up with anything. Agreed. I really want to send them home, so they won't have to walk around anymore. The road here is a little rough. Don't worry, Paimon can handle any road! Ah! Enemies! You're up, Traveler! Amazing. With such skills, you all would have definitely been able to find a way to survive the apocalypse. originally like this, did you? <laughs> to the environment. After community various living organisms in Sumeru, we discovered that fungi adapted to live in these lands. Thus, we gradually formed a fungi and became a part of their group. It's hard to believe that's even possible! The most important instinct is adapting to the end. I think that should surprise you, Pam. Your hand is shaped. The reason fungi absorb elemental blend elements and fend off natural We are pro life forms. We are ancient life forms in this land. That is why we are so adaptable. So you mean, if Paimon wanted to, Paimon could do a different form as well? Come on, let's get Not You would require a long time to that happen. Although this is common sense to us, it is still extremely difficult to explain. <clears throat> Putting changing form requires energy. And energy comes. You cannot make a sprout grow into a giant tree instantly. Force a tree to bear. I see. Humans have a term for this. It's called growth. I get it now. Growth. I see. Yes, then this is what you would call growth. A most beautiful word. I shall enjoy it more as How much fun are you? We're about halfway there. You're doing great. Do you need me to carry you on my back? Huh? Oh no! It's curious! <laughs> he seems to enjoy taking care of others. You think so? Does the Lord of Dendro need to be carried? Uh, that would be awkward. Why don't you fly up and sit on top of my head? We can figure out who will carry who later! We have monsters here! I think we may have a different understanding of carrying someone. No matter whether it's time or not, my child is happy and I put it on my back and give it a ride. Child? You mean the fungi we ran into earlier? Yes. One was my friend, and the other was my child. Why can't your kid speak? Because it's just a fungus. I don't want my presence to change or affect the original state of the species here. However, it is or fungus. It seems language. So the name. Oh, then it must be a really cute name. Like Bongo has. Hmm, you have a name. <laughs> the name only Paimon would be able to come up with. <laughs> That's right. The name as Paimons. An adventurer. Its name is... I'm sorry, but I've forgotten. Uh, seems like I've forgotten many important things. Yes, I must remember it before I return. 
It's just as important as my home. Yes, this way. We're almost there. It's withering. Yes, I have heard humans also. It's the last point we make with the end of our life. It's trying to say that when they've suffered enough and reached the end of their life, tumor of the withering. Yes. I've also suffered the same fate if it wasn't for the Dendro's help. So, this is how the withering is formed? Obviously, that forbidden knowledge is the root cause of the withering. But even Still remain. Remain. They've been tormented by forbidden knowledge for a long time. They will eventually be withering. What a sad end of the end. Words like these filled the fields. Each bloom represented an individual. They grew in the pristine lakes, in the fertile soil, in my home. They grew everywhere, until the world suddenly lost all its color and became tainted and murky. But it's all right. Our life essence, elemental power, still resides in this flower. After an adventurer clears the withering, I will quietly draw near the area. If I can sense the elemental power of my companions, then I take them with me. But that would mean the effects of forbidden... It's okay. That's not important anymore. I just hope that they can all make it back home. It's not right to leave them to simply perish in the open like this. Now that we finally have our home, each one I manage to bring back will make me that much happier. I understand. Just leave it to us. <laughs> it's fine. For the knowledge doesn't exist anymore. It's natural to want to be overcautious when dealing with a highly venomous snake. But when all that's left is a skeleton, there's nothing to worry about. Why doesn't get you two or Right? Then let's do this! We've dealt with the withering countless times already! As I expected, it's the last of my kind. So it wasn't able to make it different. If only it could hold on just a little longer. I hope to return home. How many elemental life forms have turned into tumors of the withering makes Paimon sad. It's okay. As long as elemental power still exists, then we will still be around. An external form is but a gift of time. Through growth comes change, and even abandonment of previous forms. Our true nature is not so easily affected. It wouldn't have come to this if we were able to cure them earlier. But I will cure all of them. Even for the sake of the rain. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. It is a wise choice for us to face our truth. Oh, I think I have something. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much. So, they found a fungus that matches the description I gave them. It's currently unconscious. It must be in a similar situation as I was. We should hurry and go take a look. Okay, follow me. We're close now. Just a little further inside. With so many fungi here. Fungi, right? Yeah, they'd be happy to see us. No fighting. 
These are all its family. Although we belong to we've spent a long time living among the fungi. They are very important. They can be reasonable, as long as we try to communicate. What should we do? You're the only one who can make it through, right? But you'll need Nahida's power if you want to save that fungus. I've got an idea. Can you teach me how to change into a fungus? You want to transform into a fungus? But we don't have time for growth. Nahida is a god! Changing into a fungus should be a- Even gods can't bend the laws of time so easily. Then we'll have to enter with the risk of being noticed. We may not be able to avoid a fight. But if spending some time to save your family, then I'm willing to try. You have great elemental power, so you may be able to do it. You will have to use that which is required to break through the limitations of time. I will that I have to make the transformation process a little easier. All right, I'm ready. If it's really possible to turn into a fungus, then... now! Okay. Good luck, Lord. Wow! A fungus! It's actually not too bad. My perspective in this form isn't much different from usual. The unconscious is still here. We'll help this form when it is. Oh. How do we do that? I'll get close to them while you make your way over from above. You should be able to identify them using elemental sight since they're elemental waveforms. Then, all you can do is answer in your mind. As long as I'm able to see you, then I'll be able to hear your- Okay, got it! Top and big way for you. Let's go, Traveler. Ah, so this is the one. Understood. <sighs> What's wrong? I never knew that it was so tiring to do. I didn't use the techniques that it taught me. Seems like its warnings were not unfounded. If you wish to perform drastic instantly, thank you for everything you've done. We simply wait for it. I. I. Language. Easy. Need long time. It's okay. Yes, unfortunately, yes. I will be still remembered. Really? That's great! Home, Dendro Dragon. Dendro Dragon. The Dendro Dragon. I'm sorry, I just got so excited. Never expected such emotions before. But yes, our home dragon. Yes, they're both dragons, but a pep, the dendro dragon, has been a
Why would you say that your homeland is a dragon? Because we live inside the Dendro Dragon. we'd be able to start life in a new world. However, that day never came. Our homeland was the greatest place there ever was before the apocalypse arrived. Appears that you're much smarter than Paimon. The only difference is that the Indra Dragon is much Wait, in this case, doesn't that imply that the pep has also been contaminated by her? Yes, that is correct. What has some life form in the world? Knowledge was a part of its body a long time ago. The knowledge has been eliminated. And a big void will also form inside the dragon! Great well. This will have probably been in terrible shape for some time now. Don't want to be so long. Gone ever imaginable while it's pain. Mental of that concentration. Trees will completely block up the sun. Plants and humans will fight over oxygen. Sumira will no longer be for sustaining life. Hey. The crystal. Why don't you show it to them and see if they know anything about it? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Here, we don't have time to panic. Have you seen anything like this before? It feels very familiar, like something from our homeland, but I don't see it. I'm sorry. You're reliable. Okay, I'll contact you just as I did your other family members. I'm counting on you all. Your evil is to us now. Let's wait for their reply again, though I know waiting can feel unbearable at a time like this. Hey! Oh, no! Thank you! bringing food! I explained to them that you aren't hostile. After seeing you save it, its family is very grateful. Go home, eat, hardest. as well.
one is to look to the land. Translate. We'll take care of it right away. Can you tell us about the Dendro Dragon? In an attempt to green of the forest, and talking about the importance of a gap king. And it's just that you guys aren't actually what it's trying to say is. We do not. the forest. Seems like we want to be family to follow. And if no one knows how the crystal works, then the pet may be in danger. It is a fault. I don't think it's a coincidence that neither of you can remember I did. The practice number one said that the part of us that there is value in preserving it. Do you still do 
hasn't been eliminated? No. The power of Earth covers every inch of the Say where that The mirror. A murky place no one can return from. Yeah, that must be the chasm, right? Long Let's go and It's over. Have to clear out the area. Able to take care, right? Didn't the Hida say it was pure? Maybe it's because a long time has passed. Although the power of the oozing filth is more stable than that of the apocalypse, it is still a form of dangerous power. It might have lost its mind after being soaked in it for such a long time. Oh no! But we still have tons of questions we need to ask! Let's see if we can think of another way. Oh, yeah! You said that the elemental power in the crystal was identical to the... You want to use its... But... It's risky to use its power without fully understanding its use. Don't understand! But this is our only chance to return. We cannot afford to... It's okay, there's no... I understand. again sorry that portion of my memory is highly unreliable at the moment like 
The memories you speak of. The apocalypse will eradicate. Become unstable. Even you couldn't promise after those events play. However, you are definitely who stays. I made the agreement? Yes. I am bigger than this. No one in the past. Rescued by the Lord and her at hand. See and I'm sorry. It's an essential for safety. It may be dragon torment the Our homeland will return to the way it once was. Oh, so the heart of Oasis is a pep source of power. No wonder the crystal was able to heal this fungus just now. That's what it's used for. What? You used the fire seed to save me? Mm hmm Why? What's wrong? That's... Uh, never mind. It's not your fault. You didn't know. The fire seed contains a high concentration of elemental power inside of it. It's very powerful yet fragile at the same time. It is not stable in its current form. To prevent any accidents, please don't use it again. Since I am its creator, I will take responsibility for it. I assure you, there's no need to worry. All right. Aside from being able to heal the Dendro Dragon, the Fire Seed can also resonate with the heart of Oasis. In other words, you will be able to find the Dendro Dragon by following the guidance of the Fire Seed. But you should have least. Save the Dendro Dragon. Our past has been saved, and our future has been ensured. It's enough for me, just knowing that they will return home. Hey! Wait! It turned into oozing filth! Can you use the Lumen Stone once more? I can still feel its elemental power. Please, of all of us, it deserves the chance to return home the most. This is a small ball of light that it left behind. I can feel it. I can feel its knowledge and emotions. It has all returned to its original elemental Emily. Let's go! Oh. 
it's not much further. Follow me, we're close now. I can feel its power lingering and shifting around us. Sometimes it feels distant, but other times it seems close. This is its way of warning us. It has already noticed our presence. We won't be able to see anything if we keep going that way. Hey, look! Something's over there! We found it. A pep, the Dendro Dragon. Paimon knew it would be big, but not that big! Puny god, puny human, leave my domain. Frail lifeforms like you cannot survive in the endless sands of the desert. Apep, we're here to save you. I do not need saving, especially not by you, Boor. No is time, yet you call yourselves lords of this land by head, as you will fall where you've fallen before. I know that you hate both gods and humans, but you've grown too weak now. Can't you let go of your hatred, even for only a moment? Let go. For only a moment. Foolish Boor, you will find no gratefulness from me, even if you heal me. You will only be reviving the dragon that will destroy Sumeru and the Seven Nations. No, you're ill, that's all. That I am. Time will bring death. Ancient dragons that came to terms with you. You shall. It's our family. Huh? They're your family. They don't. External fortunes in their se. The composition of their actual power is identical to ours. They're residents of our home. Is Never been broken. They've gradually taken this form in order to survive the apocalypse. So the end genius is the result of forbidden knowledge. Will our world become the same if forbidden knowledge is allowed to read? Can you find a single puddle of fresh water in the entire Aggressive anymore. They want to go. The 
stubborn. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. Returning home is the most important thing to you. I've come to understand that during our travels. I'm not doing this just to protect you, but also because I hope to use you and your experience and try speaking to a pep again. After all, that giant Dendro dragon is also your family. Maybe it's I will see you, Lord of Dendro. I will never forget your kindness. Alright, here it goes. Family. We will all be able to go home soon. Whoa. It's shining now. Endless amounts of knowledge and emotions are moving inside of me. They're all very excited. A short period of time. It's because you're carrying everyone's hopes and dreams. Finally, we can go home. This is the last part. Let's go. This cave is huge. Could this be where the dead dragon lives? Who knows what's inside that cave? Our goal is not only to find the dragon, but to also enter the world inside of it. That will be impossible if we can't get it to cooperate. That. It doesn't seem to want to help at all. How see what I can do. Though we don't see eye to eye, and that we have a very standing world and its orders. We are both born of elemental power, and both suffered the torment of forbidden knowledge. We are not that different. And right now, we share a common enemy. The difference is given the way. Hmm. Wonder if the Dendro Dragon's even willing to listen. I don't care about what you believe in, who you are, or what you've done in the name of him. Nor do I expect you to both you and your people. My people. They've been searching for a way to save you ever They yearn to return home. And now that it is over, all the hatred that Harbor has lost its meaning. Rather than continuing to fight, you should consider the life you produce. Response. If you claim to know so much more than I, then you truly think about why you want to survive and why you're. Everyone safe. And send us to the homeland. Uh um Nahi And what about the traveler? I was only sure that we made it safely. It's possible we Worried. Yep, let's go. I wouldn't worry too much. The traveler's no pushover. Paimon knows. It's just that Paimon isn't used to not having the traveler around. Oh, let's hurry. He might be just up ahead. What's that? Elemental power. The damage it suffered internally will also slowly begin to heal. Then let's hurry and light it! We still need to find the Traveler! Alright, hang on. Uh. Wait! The Fire Seed! What happened? It shattered. It was even more unstable than I expected. But why? Sure. Perhaps the fire seed was only capable of one person. But if I didn't use its power in everyone, there's no way of knowing where you're going to. And even if 
There's no reason for it to simply shatter, uh, unless... Unless what? Unless I was already in a weakened state when I created the fire seed. Which would be when we had first saved the desert. Oh no. Wait, let's put that aside for a moment. If the fire seed... All but nothing? Oh... Do you know what we should do now, Nahida? Oh, come on, Paimon, think! I... Uh, uh, <sighs> Paimon. Ability. The fire seed is technically just a ball of highly concentrated elemental power. Although my elemental power is slightly different than that of elemental life forms, I gained a better understanding of it when I turned into a... So, all I have to do is imitate that power, while adding some of my own. You're gonna fight? Yes. It'll take a lot of power from me, but it still won't be anything compared to when I was in the desert. I make become even smaller. If you can't smaller, I'll become a blade of grass. Like, basically, after how I was first born. Beyond my limits, if I can reverse the process of growth. But you'll lose everything. You'll not lose your. Lose your emotions, memories, and who knows what else? That's all right. None of that matters compared to the dangers that the pep is. Wait. What? Maybe you and the traveler can plant me in the soil of Sumeru once it is all over. I can still communicate with the world through the. It's just that you won't be able to see me. You. Serious. If the Traveler were here, he definitely wouldn't let you go through with it. If we knew this was how you were going to responsibility, then we never would have agreed I'm sorry, Paimon, but we're out of options. Not all eagles who have fallen to the ground can learn the Then the eagle will be forever. No. Please. To imagine such growth could be achieved in such a short time. It's because you're here. Everyone's home. We can go home. Yes. Home. Thank you. I learned a wonderful word. It's Noor. It will be your name from now on. Good. Thank you. Can you hear Paimon? Say something! You I said that your form didn't matter, right? Then let us know that you're all right. Their knowledge and emotions have been reverted to actual power and rest. They are no longer able to respond to you. Guardians mental power, just as they did. They will be born once again now that they're one. There's nothing to be sad about. But that's different! They won't ever be the same. Paimon, we will never understand it, and it will never understand us. That's what it's destined to be.
But as long as you can be healthy again, then nothing else matters to me, Apep. Samara will be free from threat as long as your health is maintained. I thought that my rage and my power would turn to me. However, what I feel now is a feeling that has long eluded me. The feeling of peace. The forbidden knowledge influenced you ever since you were contaminated, greatly amplifying your hatred and rage. Yes, there's no denying that. Although my hatred for that usurper from beyond the heavens still stirs, you and your people serves me no purpose. Be that as my position stands, and I will have nothing to do with you. When you inevitably perish due to your ever-expanding curiosity, I will still sneer and mock you. Sheesh! Who can put up with you? I respect your decision, and with time, I will prove to you that we will not repeat our mistakes. There is one last thing I would like to... How did you become affected by forbidden knowledge? It's a long story. We all once believed in the distant past that only knowledge has enough power to defeat the heavenly princess. The Dragon King acquired the power of darkness from outside of this world. Dragon King? An unimaginable war took place into that, causing destruction on an unprecedented scale. The world itself was on the verge of collapse. In war, the victor would inherit the right to shape the world, turn into ash. even after the death of the Dragon King. As I attempted to collect more forbidden knowledge from the corners of the world, as it was on the verge of collapse, I was stopped by the giant spike that fell from the sky. Sand dunes arose where there was only forest, and it was as if even Sumeru itself was trying to tell me that the era of the Dragon over. But you still didn't give up, did you? Because of Amun Alakhmar. Yes. Alakhmar eventually obtained this power with the help of Nabu Malikata. His ambitions continued to grow, and he planned to establish a powerful kingdom in my domain. Although I didn't think much of him, I allowed his actions under one condition. The condition was that death, all the knowledge he came to accumulate would belong to me. At that time, I still harbored deep regrets. King finally returned. The world had irrevocably changed. Dragons have grown close to your kind and have forgotten all about our hatred when the world was And some leaving behind nothing but their bones, while others chose to flee after experiencing pain and agony. But the scales and will of the dragon still shine bright in my heart, even to this day. I will follow it until the end. You really are insane. When Alakmar's proud kingdom collapsed, I swallowed him whole as I agreed and absorbed his elemental power. 
However, what I gained was no benefit. No. I gained the apocalypse. I used up strength just trying to keep the pain under control. I had no energy for the knowledge he had accumulated. But even then, I still believe that his insanity was far greater than that of my That's how the apocalypse started. I admit that I fell for his trap. Be forward. I shall keep a watchful eye. Precious to the heavens. to rest for a very long time before they can be again. It's not as ruthless as it was before. Curing the dragon of its illness has seemingly made it more Paimon still doesn't feel happy for some reason. Indeed. Although they'll still have the chance to be born again, of their journey and their feelings for their homeland. Each opportunity for growth is unique in its own way. Perhaps the immense power we release pouring out of all these irreplaceable emotions that have been for Can you really call a place with no family your home? Family. Right! The hydrofungus left behind its to fungi might be waiting for it to return. Oh, yeah. Hey, look! Huh. How are we going to explain all the complicated things that happened? They're still here! Have they really been waiting here all this time? <laughs> We're back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really am. But it's gone home and won't be able to return for a very long time. <coughs> Don't be sad. It did it to protect you. You than anything else in the world. It said that Newer is its most important family member. That's your name, isn't it? traces of itself after all. They will definitely meet again, someday. <laughs>